Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. And man, I'm excited today. I got the brand new pits in the mail this morning. And the nice thing about it is there's nothing to put together. So you drop a battery in it, bind it up to your radio, and you're ready to go. And uh, so I ran right out here to the church parking lot. We're going to see if we can get it in the air and have some fun, even though we got a little bit of wind today. Let's do it. All right, I got it all bound up, ready to go. Because I got a feeling as soon as I set this down. There we go, got AS. I got safe on. You can tell because it's when you got it upside down, the one aileron stays up. I'm gonna need a little bit of help with this wind, so. There we go, it's sitting still at least. That's a good thing. I am flying on a 2S Venom 300 milliamp hour battery. And uh, I think they say this thing will work on on uh, 3S, so those videos will be coming soon. All I had on me was 2S, so. All right, let's get it in the air. So you can see safe, it took off real nice. Slowing down the throttle. Drifting to the, the left just a little bit. The wind pushing it as I try to bring it in front of me. Let's bring it in here a little closer. Boy, it looks good. And it's flying good, man. I am having to keep the throttle up half to three quarters. And that's kind of what I expected when, when they said it would work on 2S or 3S, usually uh, on any airplane. When you got an option on the battery size, uh, the bigger one's gonna work in a quarter to half throttle, and uh, the smaller one's gonna be the half to three quarter throttle. And of course, you're gonna get much faster fly times when you switch, uh, go to full throttle and the larger battery, of course. All right, let's bring it around and we'll take it out of safe. And speed it up just a little bit. There we go. So safe is off. I do have AS3X still trying to help me with this wind. So because I am flying with a 2S, some of these maneuvers will probably work much better with the 3S battery. But it's rolling nicely into the wind. I do want to try a loop. A little bit tough, but I think with 3S I'm going to be able to do that really easily. So we got her caught upside down. I don't know how good it's gonna fly upside down. Not bad, I'm actually pushing it up into a stall a little bit, but I'm staying full throttle here. Not bad at all. So you can see this thing is very capable. I can't believe how well this has worked. Now I'm gonna put it back in safe before I try to land. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, because it, I think my battery is starting to get low already. I am flying on some pretty old batteries. I did bring out a second battery. We got. You can just see how much wind I'm dealing with. <laughs> Let's bring it in a little closer so we can see the landing. I'll fly it towards me here. There we go. Well, then I got past me, so let's bring it back around real fast. I, I guess I could be wrong about this flight time. I could probably go a little bit longer, but I wanted to get it on the ground one time. That was a maiden flight, and I feel like it did really good. I didn't have to do any settings 
this is how the transmitter comes set. You can see the wind has changed directions on me. I'm leaving the throttle about quarter to half throttle because the wind has picked up. <laughs> you see it takes straight off. Oh my goodness, straight up. Let's bring it back around for a landing again. And then we'll pick it up and put it in the truck before it tries to blow away. Keeping it in the throttle, letting it come down nice and easy. Here we go. Let's pick it up before it catches the wind. Nice. Man, that thing is really sharp. I am, you guys know how I like the pits. And uh, I'll tell you what, one thing this one has over my other pits is it's actually got a pilot. <laughs> you know, um, I really love my other pits, of course, but this one, and I love this paint scheme same paint scheme in fact this one it goes clear to the wingtips and it's part of the it's painted instead of stickers I'm loving it let's put it back in the box so it doesn't blow away and uh, if I can remember how it sat in there maybe I'm doing this backwards there we go perfect the battery compartment's right up front. Lots of room. I'm using the Venom Fly 300s, and if they're still available for sale, I'll link it. There we go. You can see it's got this little notch here that catches in the back. We'll set that inside the box so it doesn't blow away. And you can see it's plugged in with the JST plug. I'll unhook that before I forget. There you go. I did not bring my battery tester. That windsock's still going crazy. So there you have my maiden flight and a little bonus flight, the UMX Pits by E-Flight. Man, I'm in love. This thing flew great. I can't wait to get it out here on a nice calm day for you guys and see what all I can do. Of course, I'll get the 3S battery on order because I don't have one I can use in here. We'll get it on orders. That way we can see how good it does, but boy, I am excited. This thing flew great. <sighs> Guys, just a big thank you to the Lord to be able to get out here and enjoy these new airplanes. And uh, man, big thanks to E-Flight and uh, Horizon Hobby for bringing out the airplanes that I love. I don't know about you guys, but they keep hitting the airplanes that I really want. And I'm super excited about it. Of course, I'll have all this stuff linked in the description box. So you guys can go and find this stuff easily. And uh, until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.